Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bucket Drop. As you can see, it is now nighttime. Uh, so that's good to know that the timer does still work. Oop, not there. The timer does still work while emulating. It is now 8.24 p.m. on Tuesday, October 6th. We'll see this in a week. Um, so yeah, I recorded that first episode mainly as a te Oh yeah, I wanted to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the battle scenes back on because one of the things you miss off, you miss out on when they're off, is seeing the Pokemon animated when they come out. Yeah, look at that little guy go. Look at that tail wag. This was the first game that had that. Still gonna have to see that every time. Red, blue, yellow didn't have it, and then gold and silver didn't. This was the first game that had it. And it's just, it's... It's definitely weird to think about not having it at this point, because, what should we call it, red, fire red and leaf green didn't have it, I don't think, and ruby and sapphire didn't, I think emerald did, and then everything from generation four on has been animated. So, yeah, this, I recognize that in terms of current gameplay, Generation 3 probably introduced the most important stuff in terms of making a modern Pokemon game. But this game introduced, like, the foundation. Generation 1 had some stuff, but it was all broken. Like, in, in Generation 1... Psychic types are supposed to be weak against Ghost. It even says so in-game. They aren't. It's a coding bug. Instead, psychic types are entirely unaffected by Ghost. As if they were like... Like a... A Ghost Pokemon attacking a normal type, or vice versa. I don't know, I don't know how long it takes for those to regrow. But anyway, they fixed those kind of bugs. They added more attacks, like in Generation 1, the only ghost attacks that did damage were Lick, which is incredibly weak, and Nightshade, which is based on your level, doesn't actually do damage based on a number, and Ghost was physical. Well, it's still physical in this, but it's physical, so... Get... Oh boy, here's our enemy. This is more important. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste a wimp like you. This guy's a dick. Don't you get what I'm saying? I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Oh boy, here comes the, the rival fight. Man, this would be really tough if I wasn't leveling up my Totodile this whole time. All right, go get him, Steve. Oh, look at that, we're the same color. There's a fight, a green versus green. Yeah, in, in, in red and blue, you fight your rival, and in some of the later ones, you fight your rival right, right away. In generations two and three, you have a chance to level up a little bit before, before you fight the rival. Not, it makes it a little bit less of a crapshoot, which, in the first play, like, in red and blue, if you picked Bulbasaur, and you didn't get the potion from your question mark, question mark, question mark, was defeated. And you didn't get the potion from your PC in your room, you w you will die. It will beat you and there's nothing you can do about it. My name's question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Not with a name like that. Oh, he hit me again. This guy's got anger issues. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Ge Generation 2 introduced a lot of stuff like they introduced steel and dark types for, to begin with. They introduced the time, which doesn't play into every game, but it plays into a lot of them. And different Pokemon come out based on what time of day it is. Like, during the day, if I was walking around here, I would find Pidgeys. Now that it's nighttime, I can find Hoot Hoots. Because Hoot Hoots are owls. Or Rattata. Rattata can come out both times. So some Pokemon come out sometimes, some come out other times, some can come out different percentages, depending on what time of day it is. That's 
Pr probably the biggest change in this um, held items was a ma is now a major like every competitive battle battling metagame is based around well it's it's based on IVs and EVs and, st and stuff more but held item is a major part of Pokemon competitive bat why am I just fighting Pokemon right now it's a major part of competitive battling and it was introduced in this game another one uh, the the special split was introduced in this game before in in generation one you just had a special stat. You didn't have special attack and special defense. So there was a couple moves, like anything that boosted your special boosted both the damage you dealt with special attacks and your defense against them. So Amnesia in Generation 1 is the most broken uh, stat boost move in the entire series. Because it raises, basi it basically it raises your special attack and special defense by two stages, which is ridiculous. It's... It's Amnesia as it is now, plus Nasty Plot, which is crazy. Well, he, he told us his name. It's question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, so his question mark, question mark, question mark was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. You're welcome, policeman. You, you didn't really do a good job there. I mean, he just asked his name and whatever. Fuck it, this is terrible. Oh, yes, what was Mr. Pokemon? Man, he, he really got over that fast. Here's an egg. This? But is this a Pokemon egg? This is a great discovery. Another big thing this game introduced. Breeding. Pokemon eggs. That was introduced in this. Again, another part, a huge part of Pokemon now. First introduced in Generation 2. Oh, gotta go talk to my mummy. Using it on your Pokedex quest. The hoarding begins. All right, these are going right in my pocket, and they are never leaving. I'm going to have all of the Pokeballs in the world. I'm going to have so many balls. I've got all the balls, the best balls. They're all my balls. Mommy! I'm going on a trip, Mommy! You're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do? I'll save money for you. You know what? No, because, you know, in, in terms of the story here, of my stupid, um, challenge I'm doing, Mom saving money would probably be a big deal, because she buys you items periodically. But, that would count as me spending money, I guess, because it would give me items I wouldn't normally need. You know what, I'm going to have this guy show me how to catch a Pokemon. Just because this will be the only Pokeball thrown in the entire game. And because I like that his name is Dude. Look at him, he's just chilling. He's, he's such a badass, he doesn't even need to damage it. Dude, use the Pokeball. He just, he can, he can catch anything without even, without even damaging it. He doesn't even have a Pokemon. He just walked up to a rat and threw a ball at it. That's, 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 that's pretty cool. This, this guy's alright. If you weaken a Pokemon first, they're easier to catch. Okay, good to know. Not gonna, not gonna use that information. I love its little butt wiggle. It's, it's, it's rearing up. Ready to go, ready to get me. I'll have to, I'll, I'll open up my, um... It's starting to get to the point where I can one-shot these, so if I was catching Pokemon, it'd be a little... A little more annoying. Look, here's my little Totodile's dance. Look at him. Oh, he's just so happy to be Totodile. Hope he's still going. He, he just, he can't believe it. I'm Totodile, I'm so happy you took me out of the ball, and right back in the ball you go. Alright, what's next? Hoot hoot, there it is. That's the night time. This reminds me of another challenge I thought about doing, one where I can only use Pokemon that have low base stat totals, which I'll probably do that for another one, because that, that's just another one that's fun, but for now, I, I think I'm sticking with this one, because I've done the low base stat plenty of times, and this this challenge is still kind of new to me. I'm still still learning and enjoying it, so I'll, I'll do one of those at some point, but for now, I'm going to stick with this. Right, so I'll talk about the 
the games themselves. God damn, this this is a high encounter rate right now. I'll talk about the games a little bit. As you know, that's my specialty. Doing um very quick and basic rundowns of the games with my tangential knowledge that I've learned from reading Wikipedia one time a while ago. Pokemon. If you remember watching the anime as a kid, if you're old enough for that, Pokemon, the game came out before the anime. In Japan, that is. In America, I can't remember, we might have gotten them both at the same time, basically. Or maybe the, the anime might have even come before the game. But the anime was basically because the game was so successful, they made an anime. And as anime is often basically just a big long advertisement for a manga, this was a big long advertisement for the games. And Pokemon Red and Blue, no, in, in Japan, Pokemon Blue and Green came out. No, I'm screwing this up. Pokemon Red and Green came out. Or maybe it was just Red, whatever. Then they actually remade the game, Pokemon Blue. Now the version that we got... Oh god. Oh god, what's going on? Oh no, oh no, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This, uh, this... Oh. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but it uh, looks like no harm, no foul. Okay. Uh, so we got we got Pokemon Blue is the version that we in America got. And worldwide, I guess. Oh, Spinarak. I love Spinarak. It's so cute. We got Pokemon Blue. So the original red and green were, were never seen outside of Japan. Their remade version got turned into our red and blue. Then later... Ah, Pokemon Yellow came, which is an enhanced remake, basically. And things changed around a little bit, and it, came, it became closer to the anime. Like, you, you started with Pikachu instead of Barbas Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander. And in the game, you could get all of Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander, because Ash gets them in the anime. Is this gonna happen again? Uh, nope, I think we're all good. That was... That was a really bizarre glitch there. Uh, so yeah, Yellow, it, it started the trend of there being two games, and then a third game, which is a slightly enhanced version with some extra stuff. So this, I remember reading the Nintendo Power magazine when I was a kid, when Gold and Silver were like, just announced. Uh, I think, it like the information in the book wasn't even in English yet. It was just like, these are on the horizon. And they showed gold and silver, like all the text in the screenshots was still in Japanese. And then those came out, and Crystal is to. God damn it. Crystal is to gold and silver what yellow was to red and blue, kinda. It doesn't follow the anime, you don't. Obviously, I was able to pick Totodile, so it's not like you get a Pikachu or something. And it started the trend with Ruby and Sapphire came out next, then Emerald, then Diamond and Pearl, then Platinum. Then they remade Gold and Silver into Heart Gold and Heart and Soul Silver. And then Black and White were the first ones where they did something a little different. They did Black and White, then Black and White 2, which were actually direct sequels. Not a third game that was just an enhanced one. It was actually took place a couple years after. And the story. It, there's not much of a story in Pokemon, but the story followed afterwards. And then after that, it started getting kind of bad. X and Y was alright. Sun and Moon was alright. There was no third game in X and Y. Everyone was waiting for Z, and they left a lot of stuff unfinished. And there should have been a Z, but there wasn't. Then Sun and Moon, they made Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which were similar to Black and White 2. And now we've got Sword and Shield. And I doubt we're getting, like, a Lance version, whatever the whatever the third version would be for that, because they released DLC, which is probably how things are going to be from the future. And this is my favorite generation. Heart Gold and Soul Silver are probably the best games in the series, but that's just my two cents. And now we're getting into our first battle. 
with Youngster Joey. Oh man, there's that legendary Rattata. It's in the top 1% of all Rattata. Guys, do you, do you understand? Do, do you understand? Do you understand how many Rattata there are? To be in the top 1% of all Rattata? That's ridiculous. That's, that's ridiculous, guys. This is the, this is the strongest ri Okay, it's dead. The meme is still alive. Oh, down it! I like shorts. Oh, it's a different one. Do I have to have more Pokemon owner to battle? I, I only have one and I still kicked your ass. Stick with this one no matter what. You know what, I like this kid. He's doing what I'm doing. Gonna get his phone number. Ooh. Gonna call you for a rematch, Joey. Yeah, you better call me. Before I battle this next guy, I'm gonna call that a day right there. So, join me next time for another episode of Pokemon Crystal Version. Peace out.